Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be going over the latest updates in the jailbreak world and the new releases and updates that we've seen from the developers who are currently working on making jailbreaks for the latest firmware versions. The first thing I want to talk about is the iOS 6.1.3 jailbreak. This is something that people have been waiting for for a while, an untethered jailbreak for iOS 6.1.3 that will allow people who either can't upgrade to iOS 7 or haven't yet because they're still waiting on a jailbreak uh, it should allow them to jailbreak the iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S on iOS 6.1.3 that is the version that Evasion is unable to jailbreak and currently the developers working on it are I Hate Snow and Winocum WinOCM, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce his name but basically they've been tweeting out about their recent developments in the developing this jailbreak. I Hate Snow has been looking for people to test what they have so far and WinOCM uh, has been developing this jailbreak for a while and although we don't have an ETA he has expressed that he's very positive about having a jailbreak. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, just the fact that iOS 7.0.2 is jailbreak safe if you updated to iOS 7 when it first came out or I, or have an iPhone 5S that was on iOS 7. iOS 7.0.2 is safe to upgrade to if you were worried about that, so you can go ahead and upgrade. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about is the jailbreak for iOS 7 that we've been waiting on. Um, a lot of people have been working on this recently. The Evasion team has picked it up, so that's Planet Being, Muscle Nerd, uh, Pimskex, and Pod2G. And the last thing we heard was a tweet from... Planet Being, who is one of the developers working on the iOS 7 jailbreak, and he said that we're still working hard on the jailbreak, may have all the pieces at this point, but not certain yet, which is definitely very promising because it means they've compiled a great list of exploits that they'll be using to jailbreak, and it, should be, it shouldn't be long now before we see some real solid work going on the jailbreak. One thing to note, though, is that Pod2G, in response to Planet Being, did note that the road is still long and they still have to assemble all the pieces and there's no guarantee on how fast that'll uh, happen. So again, there's no ETA on either of these jailbreaks, but there is some solid progress being made on both. Definitely more promising progress than we saw with iOS 6. If you want to stay updated about the newest news regarding the iOS 7 and iOS 6.1.3 jailbreaks, be sure to subscribe and check out jailbreaknation.com daily for new info. We'll be updating you guys as soon as we know the deal with these jailbreaks, so stay tuned, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.